What's up everybody, this is Scratch and I got a video here for you. We're gonna talk about Twitch streaming on Xbox post beam update. So this is one of the biggest questions or comments or whatever that I get. Um, a lot of people either ask me if you can still stream to Twitch via the Xbox or they tell me that you can't, uh, which is false, you can. Um, but the reason that they say that isn't completely unfounded. The reason is is that uh, in the most recent update, Microsoft has gotten rid, or an Xbox has gotten rid of the snapping ability that the apps used to be able to do. So you used to be able to like snap um, along the side, and you can't do that anymore. And so, because uh, in order to view your chat on Twitch, um, you needed to snap the Twitch app, a lot of people just assumed that because Twitch relied on the snap feature, that it was going to go away. Well, that's not true, um, but it doesn't snap though. But I'll show you how it works. So we're going to go over here. I'm playing Trulon. I've got Twitch open. Um, if I open this up, you'll see that it just brings out to the side here, and I can go over here to broadcast, just like I always have been able to do before. Um, and I can change the... It shows me my broadcast preview. I can do the broadcast title. Um, it says that I have uh, Trulon, the shadow engine. I can go over here to settings, all just like I could before. And I click on Start Broadcast, which I'm going to do another one. This is actually going to be Broadcast Test Number 2 because the first one I'm actually having trouble with getting out. But um, you'll see that it says Start Broadcast, but it's a little bit glitchy here uh, where it doesn't, seem to, it doesn't seem to go. Now that I've just started the broadcast, if I say hello, I'm going to say Test Number 2, you'll notice that that doesn't show up. I just typed into the chat there. So if I press B to go away... And then I have to go back in here because I can't snap it. I can bring it back and then you can see that I wrote uh, test number two there. And I can look at the chat here, but it cannot stay snapped. Um, so that's a little bit of an issue. And then also um, I'm watching the Twitch here. Now I am broadcasting, but because I was watching my channel before I started broadcasting, it doesn't actually say that I went online. But if I refresh my side over here, I can now see that it is broadcasting there and it shows me live and... Um, I'm walking around with about like a 15 second delay or whatever. I can still see at the bottom here that I've been broadcasting for one minute and I have no viewers. Um, so I can see all that sort of stuff. Um, the other th artifact that you're going to notice is that whenever I snap this over um, on on Twitch, it's going to actually crop the resolution or, or the, the scaling is going to be all kind of weird because um, they're not going to see this side thing. So basically what that is... Um, Basically, the reason for that is this app was designed for use on the dashboard back before Microsoft and Xbox made changes to the dashboard. So it would be on Twitch to now update their app to work with the new update on uh to work with a new update on the dashboard. There are new things like you have the overlay features, which you can see the Beam app uses, um, and also uh, the tracking your achievements or whatever. You can see the overlay features of those. Uh, Twitch could update their app to be able to do those. It would just be a matter of them spending the development time uh, to do that. And as of right now, they haven't done that. Um, but, you know, as of the publishing of this video anyways, they haven't done that. But hopefully they do in the future because a lot of people still want it. A lot of people still like to go to Twitch. It's a big thing to, you know, jump over to a completely new platform. And uh, Twitch is in control of, of fixing that app. So I, I would think that they would, they would want to do that because otherwise some people might end up forcefully switching over because the other one is more feature rich and usable. So part of that's my opinion. A lot of that is a fact how it works. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys all next time.